So, what do you do? Dad, we, we already talked about this. He's kind of a big deal. Who the fuck is this guy? He's kind of a big deal. What are do you doing? How are you been doing? Uh, I rap. I'm a rapper. Rap. This guy is a rapper? You're dating a fucking rapper? How fucking cliche can you be? I'm an artist. Mom, this chick is fucking dry as shit. Rapper? I come with a pension. No, sir. Who the fuck are you? Do you work with Marshalls? No. Do you work with Justin Bieber? No, not Justin, no. Timberlake? No. And you're fucking trash. Who is this guy? You work with Springsteen? Yes. No. Never worked with Dylan? Never worked with I know what you're talking about, no. Get this guy out of here! Why are we even at dinner right now? What about Bob Saget? You've never worked with Bob Saget. You're not a big fan of me. Oh, I'm not familiar with Bob Saget. Bob Saget's a gun. So you're not such a big fucking deal after all, are you? Mm. I mean, I wouldn't... I wouldn't say I'm a big deal or a small deal. I, I kind of, I wouldn't put myself in the middle. Like, like I'm kind of a big deal. You know? It's a little shit deal. It's a little shit deal. It's a little pretty clever, don't you? You've got a way with words. Doing all that rapidy rap shit. I want you to rap for me. I want you to put that fucking hat back on your fucking head. Get away from my fucking table and this dry fucking chicken. Go down the fucking stairs to the stage and wreck the shit out of your music. Stage on stage? Yep. Is it crowded? I think George Lucas crowded. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah.
Yeah, I break a nigga toes, make it to the two snap. Crib full of hoes, now I feel like I got a bad trip, a bitch. All we do is have sex, and she loves like a dick, so I call her. Hold up. Yeah, my nigga. Yeah. 
a lot of people didn't think he was gonna make it this far. This shit crazy. I just need to take a second to just soak the fucking energy in this motherfucker, bro. Sunday school, I skipped out and then went to the mall and got draped up and tripped out. I 
I used to listen to Bon Jovi I hang with my aunt Rosie and she called the cops on me Cracking my socks, running my neighbor up tops on me Nowhere to run now Thanks a lot, homie I was misunderstood, trust me, I know what you took from me She said I know you in a relationship, but you couldn't love me And you know we got some, and you know it's time, so what you aim for? God damn, you let me down again Where you go? You niggas is so sick, I'm so sick I'm tired of my broke friends who smoke sick I just wanna go bands with smoke tents and take all of my hoes on a road trip, just no kids. I guess it's cool to dream when you ain't used to having much. I know this breakup hurting you when you sad and such. I know you're not happy, stop acting like you're having fun. I know you're stupid through my Instagram, getting mad as fuck. I try to run away from home before the ass beaters. All I wanted was the clothes when it's tax season. I love it when they black, but they act reeking. My past to think that I'm half black and half demon. But what the fuck is you crying for? What's mine is yours. What's yours is mine, and I'm dying for it. We riding for it. We wanted this a long time ago. What you waiting for? God damn, you let me down again. Way to go. I got pain in my soul. Level. I really believe in your music. I love your storytelling. I love the music you're doing, and I think you, you're ready to be big. So I want to take you to that next level. And uh, he had Drew on the team and Sean, um, a great team. Yeah. And I came on on board and, uh, and helped him take it to the next level. Talk to me about uh, Drew. Uh, Drew is a Drew is a genius, man. Drew is a very smart guy uh, from another industry, tech industry more, but came into this industry and added so much value. And um, and I really, I really like the things that he does because he's very organized and uh, he really knows how to, he's a good manager. Um, I saw the video online, it was a rapper cries when he sees his tour van or some, something like that. When I watched it, um, I was expecting it to be like something people were laughing at or something, you know? Um, but it came off like really authentic and all the responses were like, wow, that's super dope. He worked really hard to get just to that point. And so the response, the response was just different. I was like, man, I wonder if he's any good, you know? That's the next thing that came to my mind. And, and then I heard, fuck your feelings. And then I saw him like switch off his flow and shit on there. And I was like, Whoa. I was like, oh fuck. I was living in San Francisco, uh, 2014. And um, I had a marketing company out there and stuff. So I was already in like advertising. So when I saw Jordan's video, found the phone number, picked up the phone and said, um, hey, I want to see if I can help break you online um, and uh, let's go to work. Like, And they were like, well, what do you want out of this? I was like, nothing. I just want to see if I can do it. Now we're here. Now we're here, yo. It's been a process. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This shit is insane. It's crazy. Sold out show in Boston, man. Sometimes I drown myself in my own thoughts. I try to convince everybody around me that I'm okay, that I'm perfectly fine. You see? It's one thing to try to convince everybody else that shit. But I can't lie to myself. I wonder what that is like. Is there pain on the other side? Time to find out. If you guys got a phone, lighter, you got a lighter, flashlight. Let's light this motherfucker. 
room up tonight. Help me sit this shit. Go ahead and call me a coward. Sit it up. Pretty 
with a face full of scars All they did was build me up, try to take me apart They ain't never wanna celebrate Now you have a label called a dime to hurt a chopper Make him do the macarena All you niggas treat as candy chocolate chip an hour later Johnny break this nigga bubble gum with watermelon flavor Get the paper on my On the corner, I heard you nigga got a juice But I got Corona I got a little spin and bitch I call him on the corner Join the loop and bitch I'm hotter than a fucking sauna All you new niggas don't do it for me Bitchin' a professor, you a student to me Just out of shade, call it like you're cooler than me All we do is win, you a loser to me Rappers wanna talk about battle, we sick Bunch of little niggas try grabbing me Five foot five, boy, your niggas like half of me You don't wanna see the other side of me Hard to make them happy, yo, this bitch just stay mad at me I just might take it around the apple Joiner since like Joiner has been nobody basically, and to see that like to hear them talk back and forth and to see them go back and forth with each other, it's kind of crazy because it's all constructive criticism on both ends. If Joiner didn't like something that uh, Dubs did, um, he'll say something. If Dubs doesn't like something that Joiner said, they they talk, they let each other know. But you can tell that it's like a team to not be reckoned with. Like it's uh, yeah. their powerhouse. They know what they're doing too, and, and like you said, it's loyalty. It's it's family. I knew uh, Double right. So I was just like, yo, Dub, please, I'll design a stage, I'll go out on tour, whatever you guys want, hit me up, I'll get it for you. And they did, and you know, ever since then we've been rocking with each other. So his, his, his design aspect and his creativeness is crazy. I like the way he carries himself, like this is the shit I want, no matter what, he's very decisive on what exactly he wants and how on point he is with shit and like, you know, I miss, I think I miss one cue just about every show, and that one cue, he will never forget it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's funny. He, he, he's, he's the boss. He's, he's, uh, he's definitely, he's keeping us all basically ahead of everything, too. Like, he'll always, every time we wake up in the morning, if he's just going to go to the bathroom, he'll look at us all and just be like, you guys good? You guys good? How was the night? You know what I mean? If he went to bed early, he'll make sure that we all had a good night. And uh, the biggest thing with him, too, he makes sure that you eat. He will not, if you're hungry, he'll, he'll make you stop. He'll make the bus stop and get you food. So he makes sure that you're always on top of your game. It's pretty cool. It, I, I think it's, there's a few principles you follow in life. You work hard, you know, you, um, you, you be honest, you stay loyal, and those things get you to where you need to go. How many motherfucking day one Jordan Lucas fans are in the building? A lot. I mean like day one, not like not like a couple months ago, nigga. I mean like day fucking one. We gonna see. Yeah. We gonna find out. Okay, we're not saying join us. Y'all say Lucas, join us. Why the fuck you looking at me like you're so confused? 
You really made me sick, my nigga, if you only knew I swear to God, I wish you wasn't born and it was no excuse I don't wanna raise you, I really fucking hate you I wish I had to take you, I ain't trying to educate you Yo, this really fucking sucks, and your mother's fucking nuts I have my whole life figured out, leave it to you to fuck it up Man, shut the fuck up, what you cry for? Looking at me like you love me, what you lie for? Why you wanna try me for? Blow your fucking candles out, enjoy the cake I got you for your stupid little birthday that everyone's so excited for, except me I dare you to disrespect me when you grow up That's gonna be the last time you ever Nigga, fuck you thought Everything was perfect, now I'm fucking lost And it's all your fault Hold up We got day ones in the house tonight, boys, man What is day ones? Let's go Oh, yeah That's the one with the COVID I don't know what I'm taking for y'all I'm in this shit all day Okay, now fuck with me the long way Yo, fuck with me the long way And that's the one way street, bitch Get robbed today, better give me a goddamn job today. I need food, bread, fishes, head, watch, rig, cars today. I need bullets, clips, guns, shit. Somebody go be God today, cause I never had money. Pops can't sing that shit. Can't take nothing from it. I can't sing that shit. Oh, uh, yeah. Take me to jail, I do time. She said, shoot your man with two times. I'm gonna fuck your cool and feel. Don't wanna drop top, they wanna shoot the jail with two knives. Nigga, wanna fold me up like Utah. Try to make a business, sing on two times. Ain't no other pistol beat, I beat pistol beats. Paint pictures, beats them two times. Run up in the midst of beats, she like, hold up. Niggas put a buy down. Plenty bitches that I never get tied down. Either fuck with me the law or you die now. Man, it's one for all my niggas that I lie down. I'm like, your own shit, but don't trip. I swear to God, I never forget. I'm as cold as a gon' get. Fuck my nose, bloody. Take that shit. Oh, oh, yeah. Can't take nothing from it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Hold up, hold up. Oh, oh yeah. That's the wood that crawl, man. Look, I don't know what I paid you for, y'all. I was in this shit all day. Don't so fuck with me the long way. Don't fuck with me the long way. First time I met Jonah, I shot a video for him. Um, I'm a videographer as well, so but he didn't really know me like that, you know. And gradually he found out that I made music. He gave me a couple shoutouts a few times. He put the post that post out on Facebook and was like, "I'm looking for someone that can rap a verse." And I was kind of just like half joking. I was like, commented, I was like, "LOL, I'll do it" or something. Just kid, like messing around. And within like 45 seconds of me posting that. He had already hit me up, and he was like, this is definitely for you, like, this is perfect. He was like, I haven't even written the song yet, but now he's like, can you do it next week? And I was like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> and I got the yeah. song on Monday night, and we shot it Thursday morning. So it was like two and a half days to yeah. memorize it. What up, fam, my nigga? First of all, happy MLK Day. Let me start off with that. Um, I need you to check out this real shit right here, all right? I got that heat for the streets that I know your ass don't like. Come fuck with you, bro. What about $20? Okay. All right, all right, I'm good. What the fuck is that? We out here, we brothers in the same struggle. You gonna play me? Fuck you, you Uncle Tom. Nigga ain't even black. It's your old dusty ass suit on. Every 53 seconds, an ignorant black man accuses another black man of being less black than him. Or even calls him a man. So, what you're saying is, it's not black to wear a suit. It's not black to be well spoken. It's not black to not own your homemade rap CD. When I hear that shit, it makes me want to sit a stupid black ass down and explain them the importance of education. The opportunities available to one after going to college. Shit, that he could even be the president of the United States of fucking America. All right now.
with respect. I don't have pity for you black niggas. That's the way I feel. Screaming black lives matter. All the black guys rather be dead beats than pay your bills. Yelling nigga this and nigga that. Call everybody nigga and get a nigga mad. As soon as I say nigga, then everyone react. You wanna swing at me and call me racist cause I ain't black. And pound that then. Talking about slavery like you was around back then. Like you was picking cotton off the fucking ground back then. Like you was on the plantation getting down back then. I see a black man aiming his gun, but I'd rather see a black man claiming the sun. Now I mean just for one day you done, I mean, you still trapped in a rut. I work my ass off and pay my taxes for what? So you can keep living on free government assistance, food stands for your children, but you still trying to sell them for some weed and some liquor or a fucking babysitter while you party on the road cause you ain't got no fucking gold. You already late, you motherfuckers need to get your damn priorities straight. Wait, it's like you're proud to be fake. You lazy as fuck. You'd rather sell drugs and get a job and be straight. And then you turn around and complain about the poverty rate. Fuck out of my face. Can't escape problems. You can pray for some change, but can't break a dollar. Got nobody else to blame, so you blame Donald. You fuck the world with a make America great condom. My boy's been back. I'm not racist. My sister's boyfriend's black. I'm not racist. My sister-in-law's baby cousin Tracy got a brother and his girlfriend's black. My head's in the cloud. Heard it's not enough jobs for all the men in your house. Maybe we should build a wall to keep the Mexicans out. Or maybe we should send them all to the ghetto for now. I'm not racist. And I never lie, but I think there's a disconnect between your culture and mine. I worship the Einsteins, study the Steve Jobs, but you ride too far dick like he was a fucking guy. Oh my god! And all you care about is rapping and stunting and being ratchet. And that's the nigga within you. Music right in your brain and slowly start to convince you. Then you let your kids listen and then the cycle continues. Blame it all on the menu. Blame it on those drinks. Blame it on everybody except for your own race. Blame it on white privileges. Blame it on white kids. And just blame it on white citizens. Aim it to vice president. <laughs> Watch your class clowns. Niggas standing on the field. That's a flag down. How dare you try to make demands for this money? You gon' show us some respect. You gon' stand for this country, nigga. For this type of war I heard Eminem's rap at the awards Who's he fighting for? Y'all can take that motherfucker too He ain't white no more It's like you wanna be so famous You'll do anything for attention and a little payment I can't take you nowhere without people pointing fingers Pants hanging off your ass You ain't got no home training Put your fucking pants off, nigga Put that suit back on Take that new rag off Take that gold out your mouth Quit the pitiful stuff And then maybe police will stop killing you Fuck you, what the fuck? I'm not racist it's like we're living in the same building, but split it in two floors. I'm not racist, but there's two sides of every story. I wish that I knew yours. I wish that I knew yours. I'm not racist. Disrespect, I don't really like you white motherfuckers, that's just where I'm at Screaming all lives matter is a protest to my protest, what kind of shit is that? And that's one war you'll never win The power in the word nigga is a different sin We shouldn't say it, but we do, and that's just what it is But that don't mean that you can say it just cause you got nigga friends That word was originated for you to keep us under And when we use it, we know that's just how we greet each other And when you use it, we know there's a double meaning under And even if I wasn't picking cotton physically that don't mean I'm not affected by the history My grandmama was a slave, that shit gets to me And you ain't got no motherfucking sympathy, you pussy nigga I'm sorry, you can never feel my life Trying to have faith, but I never feel alright It's hard to elevate when this country's ran by whites Judging me by my skin color and my blackness Trying to find a job, but ain't nobody call me back yet Now I gotta sell drugs and put food in my cabinet You crackers ain't slick, this is all a part of your tactics Don't talk about no motherfucking tax. But I ain't making no dope. You think you know everything, but you don't. You wanna copy our slang and everything that we know. Try to steal black culture and make it your own. Whoa. Fuck, I'm exhausted. I can't even drive without the cops trying to start shit. I'm tired of this systematic racism bullshit. All you do is fall shit. This the shit that I'm false with. You don't know shit about my people. That's what bothers you. You don't know about no fried chicken and no barbecue. You don't know about the two step or no loose change. You don't know about no two chains or no Kool Aid. You don't know. And even though the rock was half as black. You hated President Obama, I know that's a fact You can't wait to get him out and put a tracker back And then you gave us Donald Trump and that was payback for that I'm not racist, I never lied But I know there's a disconnect between your culture and mine Yeah, I praised Tupac like he was a fucking god He was fighting for his life right before he fucking died Nigga, die, nigga And all you care about is money and power and being ugly And that's the crack
cycle within you Hatred all in your brain And slowly start to convince you Then you teach it to your children Until the cycle continue Blame it on Puerto Rico Blame it on OJ Blame it on everybody Except for your own race Blame it on black niggas And blame it on black citizens Aim at the black businesses I ain't saying I'm innocent but I might be any day now Treating everybody how you want In any way how I swear North Korea about to bomb us any day now And now I'm ducking every time I hear a fucking play now you know I make a lot of sense, but you just can't admit it. Whenever that went against Trump, that was the illness. Cause even though he's white, he let us know he's standing with us. I'm not racist, but I cry a lot. You don't know what it's like to be in a frying pot. You don't know what it's like to mind your business and get stopped by the cops. And I know if you about to die or not. You worry about your life, so you take mine. I love you, but I fucking hate you at the same time. I wish we could trade shoes, but we could change lives. So we can understand each other more, but that'll take time. I'm not racist. It's like we living in the same building, but splitting on both sides. I'm not racist, but there's two sides of every story, and now you know mine. I've gotten like a bunch of messages, but the craziest one was this dude from Mississippi messaged me and he was like, I gotta be honest, like I grew up in Mississippi and I'm like, I have pretty racist tendencies and like I'm usually pretty prejudiced because like I'm telling you, it changed my whole perspective and like made me rethink everything. And I, I just got like chill. That was the craziest message out of all of them. It was real surprising, yeah. you know. Of course there was, there was a negative feedback and people who didn't agree with the message that the video was sending. But I think overall we we sent a positive message and it resonated with the audience. And people liked it. They, they messed with it. Yeah, it, got, it had people talking. They they did a college lecture on it. It got the conversation started. And like even if you agreed or didn't agree, like that's not the point of it. You know, it was just like it got you talking. Let's go. <laughs> like let me try to.
gonna do this shit. I'm trying to figure out where we gonna start at. This shit gonna feel like I'm floating this shit. Fuck it, let's start right here. We're gonna have to bring this shit down in security.
just because Act like some kids and play house just because Blow on some jams and get down just because Just cause I love you bossy Blow, blow, damn I just wanna buy, wanna We get loose Pour it, drink it, close, damn Blow, smoke, damn I just wanna buy, wanna ride We get ghost, damn Pour it, drink it, close, damn Make some fucking noise, bossy We gotta talk about this crazy ass bitch that just jumped on this motherfucking mattress. Do you know what's nuts? It was only nine months ago that we were at YouTube and he got the 100,000 subscribers back. Nine months ago, Yeah. right? Nine months ago, he got the 100,000 um, subscribers back. Okay, so the next milestone is 10 million subscribers. That's a big jump. From a million to 10? Yeah. I mean, we're already at two. You can get there. <laughs> you said you you said we won, but we got two. Yeah, what you thanks. mean? Do you know what I like the most about it though? Is that these million people right here, or the two that we got now, they're not just like people that watch viral videos and shit like that. You know what I mean? These are people that are die hard fans. Yeah. Of like his art. Like they are the real time. fans. Yeah. It's not just like a whole bunch of random people. Yeah. Like well, we, that's we know exactly who these people are. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, nah, yo. But yeah, back, a million. This one's gonna. This is this is a big deal. We gonna present this to this nigga on stage? Huh? We gonna present this on stage? I don't stage? know. I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, let's give it to him on stage, man. That's work, man. For real. One million subscribers. Times have changed, you know. Yo, hold on. Before you keep going, my nigga. What's up?
I fucking hate this song. I said, you hate it, what you hate about it? He said, the chorus was annoying. I said, it's annoying. I said, okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put this shit out anyway. I'm gonna shoot a video to this shit. I'm gonna bring you all the way to fuck the Boston Mass. And I'm gonna let the motherfucking people show you how annoying this shit is. Drop that, boy.
flick your mind back, put your eyes back, take your iPad on my eye rack, into a side when your mind's loaded, your mind is floating away. Cause you're gonna sit back with pit. I was raised in a sword. Red balloon for your kids, sink my tooth in your bitch. I lost too many friends, and now I do good with kids. What you know about riding dirty in the evening? What you know about ramen noodles in a pack of sad song? What you know about leaning up and door open when there's no heat again? Rent a dude with your landlord trying to throw you out. Boston, Massachusetts. This is the end of the I'm Kind of a Big Deal tour. For the first time I ever performed in Boston, it couldn't have been no more than uh, uh, 40 people. Tonight we done sold out the motherfucking house of blues, nigga. Twenty five hundred fucking people in the building tonight. And then after that, we're gonna go straight to the fucking stadiums and shit. The best part about all of that is that you motherfuckers can all say that you was here for the very beginning. Boston, Massachusetts. I will be back. Just make sure that y'all come back with me. I am Jordan Lucas. I love you. Come on. So every show, at the end of the show, he'll talk about how, how like these are the first people to be at a show. Like you're the first thousand people. Like just know that next show it's gonna be two thousand people, and that all you guys were there from the start. So hearing that is kind of mind blowing because it's like. You're manifesting like your own future. It's, think about it. Look at the time frame. 2014, I meet Joyner. The company that on the tech side was founded in 2015. You know what I mean? Um, we went on our first headline run in 2007. Well, we did our first tour in 2016. Our first headline run in 2017. You know, and now we're here in 2018. You know, it's been a lot of work, and it's so much work. I can't. If I, if I, man. He used to tell me, yo, I need you to write a list of everything we're doing so we can keep telling. It's, it's got impossible. I, I can't write it. It's just too much. Has he taught you anything to say, Joyner? He, he really taught me how to deal with people because I didn't do that before. If I, if I didn't like the way someone did something, I just cut him out. I stopped talking to them. And he forced me to work with people I didn't want to work with. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's why I say he's a mini CEO because that's what CEOs do. CEOs are great at knowing how to work with people and everybody and bring all the pieces together. You know what I mean? They're, they're real chess players. That's what CEOs are. And that's what he is. He taught me how to sometimes just be patient. You know what I mean? And I, I, I'm, I'm a student first to everything. And so um, even, even to um, this industry as a whole now, and even to you know him. So I think we all are students and we all learn from each other. He learns from me, I learn from him. Um, you learn from both of us. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about I love about Joyner is like seeing things like this, I always see the same people around and all the other things. Yeah. Around, the same people. It's so dope to see like the same family members and the same people that were there from the beginning that have happened. Like, even with you, you're from the very, very bottom. You know what I mean? Came up with. Like, I know a guy that does um, designs for Pretty Lights and he's been their guy for like 13, 14 years now. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's goals right there. Say, so, you know, when I'm 30, I'll be like, yeah, I've been designing Joyner Stage since I've been, you know, fucking 20. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to finally have the spaceship. Yeah. What about that like next year though? That's, I'm more worried about how fast, you know, this is all going to come together than, you know, how big it gets. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. I'm waiting for it. I've been waiting for like two years. A lot of big things have happened in the last week outside, just not even from the shows, just from music and life goal dreams that we were talking about earlier, yeah. you know, yeah. features and people he's working <coughs> with now. So those, those things are, 
those things are like really special moments, you know. Um, it's just an experience for me, man, because it's like the evolution of things. Like, yeah. you know, I was there from the beginning, so it's like every tour, is, it gets bigger and bigger, and I look at it from that perspective. Like, I just step out and I just watch it from where we came from, when we're doing like the whole little wall shows, and so it's like, it's dope, man. It's hometown, man, home fucking town, yo, it's crazy. It's a great team, right? It's that, a great team, man. That's the thing about this whole thing, the way everybody's so good, like, to the core. Like, yeah, these are right. good people, like, everybody's yeah, the whole sick. The team is solid. House of Blues. Yes. House of Blues show. Yes. Amazing show. Yes. Best way to end it in his town. Actually, 45 minutes away from his town. We ended with a bang, man. We pulled out all the chiros and pyros and mattresses, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. You already know. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. 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 Good to see you. 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 Good to see